Hi, so this particular playlist is all about answers to tough questions and the whole idea is that I'm going to post the question. Um, if you pause the video, have a go at the solution and then the answer will be given in the final part of the video. I hope it's useful to you and please do add a comment, like, subscribe to the site and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next videos. Hi, so this is uh, just a response to the comment that you put on the, uh, on the uh, um, video here. I just thought I'd try this particular method of solving it. I hope it's going to be helpful to you. Okay, so I've got 4x plus y equals 25. I've also got x minus 3y equals 16. Okay, well the difficulty I've got here is I need to either multiply this y by 3, and if I do that I get 3y, or rather multiply this top equation by 3 and I get 3y, and then I can add this to this one and get rid of it, or I can multiply the bottom by 4. So that's what I'm going to do, because if I do that, I end up with 4x here, and that would be great for me. So if I do that, I'm going to get the top equation won't change, that's going to stay the same. The second equation, however, is going to become 4x, and this is minus 12y, so I've got minus 3y times 4 is going to be minus 12y, and that equals 16 times 4. Well, 16 times 4 is going to be 6 4s are 24, 2 to carry, 4s are 4, 64. Okay, so I've got 64 in there. So it's going to be just a little bit of calculation on this particular uh, set because it's uh, the numbers are a little bit more difficult. But let's work this out now where we're going to take it away because I know that 4x take away 4x is going to wipe that out which is exactly what I'm looking to do. So 4x minus 4x is 0 and then I've got y minus minus 12y. So you've got to be a little bit careful with this and this is what happens with these sorts of things is that you are minusing but you've also got to be very careful about any um, negative number that you might have. So minus and minus is a positive so this will end up as being 13y. And then I have 25 minus 64. So in other words, it's the same as saying what's the difference between 25 and 64. So if I just do this at the side here, I've got 64 minus 25, and all I'm going to do is just work out the difference between the two. I don't quite know how you do it, but this would be the method I would use, and that's going to give me 39. But remember that we're going to minus, so 25 positive minus 64 is going to give me negative 39. Now if that is the case then that's great because it means then if I divide through by 13 it will give me a very easy value of y of minus 3. Okay so once I've got that value of minus 3 because minus 39 divided by 13 is minus 3 it'll then allow me to put that value of y back into the equation. So let's just do that. We're going to substitute this back in. It doesn't matter which one we do. I'm just going to do the second one because it just looks a little bit easier to manage, although there is a negative in there. And I've got x minus 3, and I'm going to put this bracket and then minus 3 in place of the y, and that's going to equal 16. OK, so let's just work that out. Well, x is fine. And then I've got minus 3 times minus 3. And again, that's going to make a positive like that. OK, now I need to minus 9 from both sides. And if I do that, it means this is cancelled out. And I get x to equal 16 minus 9, which is going to be positive 7. So x equals positive 7. I hope that's okay for you and you can see that okay. Alright, so in this particular case the answer to this particular question is going to be x equals minus 3 and x equals positive 7 which is just at the bottom here. I hope that's okay for you and it's been helpful and thanks very much for the question. Cheers!